As mentioned before, barbiturates are also classified according to their onset and duration of action. Long-acting barbiturates are least liquid-soluble and the slowest in the onset of action. They also have longer duration of action that can reach up to 10 to 12 hours. Examples of long-acting barbiturates are phenobarbital sodium and barbital sodium. Phenobarbital sodium has these therapeutic effects. It's a barbiturate that's used in cats, dogs, ferrets, and horses to treat seizures and NASA sedative. It is used off-label or extra-label in small and large animals to treat seizures or as a sedative. In veterinary medicine, many medications are regularly administered for off-label use. In these cases, pay close attention to your veterinarian's instructions and cautions, since they may differ greatly from those on the label. Adverse effects are, when therapy is first started, dogs may experience anxiety, agitation, lethargy or drowsiness, as well as increased thirst, urine and appetite, as well as elevated liver enzymes on blood work, incoordination, and other side effects may suggest a dose that is too high. Reduced blood cell counts are a less prevalent complication. In cats, coordination, drowsiness, lethargy, face itching, increased appetite, and weight gain, and increased thirst and urine are all possible symptoms. Cats can have low blood cell counts and blood tests in rare cases. Although the effects of this moderate-acting drug should wear off in a few days, they may last longer in pets with liver or kidney illnesses. Next is a short-acting barbiturates. These barbiturates are less lipid-soluble and have longer duration of action that can reach up to 6 to 8 hours. Their onset of action is approximately 30 to 60 minutes. Examples of short-acting barbiturates are pentobarbital sodium and secobarbital sodium. Pentobarbital sodium has the therapeutic effects. It was originally developed as a sedative and anesthetic, however, it is currently most routinely used for euthanasia. In experimental conditions, pentobarbital is still used as an anesthetic to control seizures that do not respond to other drugs. Although newer anesthetics have mostly replaced pentobarbital, it is still infrequently used for sedation and seizure control. Adverse effects of pentobarbital sodium includes animals having a known reactivity or allergy to pentobarbital but should not be given the medicine, and it should also be avoided in animals with porphyria. In animals with hepatic problems, it should be used with caution. Other drugs may interact with the drug. Now let's talk about ultra-short-acting barbiturates. These barbiturates are very lipid-soluble and the onset of action is rapid and immediate after intravenous dose. Their duration of action is short, and examples of these are thiopental sodium, thiamylol sodium, and methohexital sodium. Thiopental sodium has these therapeutic effects. In animals with suspected increased intracranial pressure, theobarbiturates are one of the drugs of choice for inducing anesthesia. The use of theobarbiturates to induce anesthesia for a cesarean section is safe because these drugs rapidly redistribute in the dam and fetus. The fetal blood levels are quite low by the time the fetus is delivered. These substances can be used to keep anesthesia in place. The following are its adverse effects. Due to saturation of the redistribution size, repeated doses may result in a slow recovery. Greyhounds have a slower clearance of these drugs in their blood. As a result, the effects last a long period of time and recovery is slow. Theobarbiturates should not be used in greyhounds or other side hounds. If a large IV dose of theobarbiturate is given rapidly, cardiac arrhythmias can occur. Thiamylol sodium has these therapeutic effects. Slightly more potent than thiopental, induces hypnosis and anesthesia, and the effect will take within 30 to 40 seconds via intravenous injection. Adverse effect in dogs include cardiac arrhythmia, increasing the arterial blood pressure, and long periods of respiratory depression appear after induction of anesthesia with thiamylol. Meanwhile, methohexital has these therapeutic effects. This is used as an intravenous anesthetic and is used to induce deep sedation. Adverse effects include manifestations of methohexital in overdose include central nervous system depression, respiratory depression, hypotension, loss of peripheral vascular resistance, 
and muscular hyperactivity, ranging from twitching to convulsive life movements. Other findings may include convulsions and allergic reactions. Lastly, we have between ultra-short and short-acting or intermediate-acting barbiturates. These take very little time to act with an onset of 46 to 60 minutes and duration of 10 to 12 hours. Examples are thiol barbitol and the therapeutic effects are thiol barbitol sodium was found to be a reliable and economical general anesthetic for domesticated turkeys. Surgical anesthesia was maintained longer than 2 hours by intermittent infusion via a brachial vein cannula. The occurrence of respiratory failure was considerably less. Recovery was rapid and smooth. The adverse and negative effects include it causes marked depression of the activity of the reticular formation and only slight depression of cortical activity. 